Welcome Immortals, I'm Vici Dayum. We're here again live and we've got some pretty exciting announcements if you haven't been paying attention to Star Citizen in the last couple of days. Things are getting pretty crazy. So just to kick things off, to start with, we've got 3.23 in Wave 1 of the EPTU. So if those are a whole bunch of acronyms you don't know, then the latest patch of Star Citizen has released and it is in a uh, sort of alpha, alpha, alpha. Now this goes out to certain backers that have either paid the $10 like subscription or are a uh, OG or, or uh, sort of more wealthy whale and has spent like over $10,000 or something like that. Or you just actively contributed to the games. Anyways, if you're one of those three groups of people, well then welcome on to 3.23 and specifically all of the things that come with it. So. In 3.23, we've got a ton of different improvements. If it's your first time checking it out, we'll go over everything from the start because the very start of everything is different. The menus are different, the way you make your characters are different, the UI is different, pretty much everything has been improved. Uh, now, with some of that, you know, it may be a, a bit for you to adjust to initially, but I think overall everything has a, uh, just had a massive improvement. Um, but. Uh, to begin with, Moss, Aosha, Ken, hello, welcome on in. Hope you guys are all doing great. If you haven't already, jump in and check out uh, what the verse has to offer because there are some pretty incredible things out there. Um, today, we're going to be focusing on just one of those things, which is hunting Copion. If you didn't already, check out my video that I just released on Copions. It's an exhaustive guide in just like two minutes. I'll go over where to find them, how to hunt them, and everything you need to know, and everything that we know. Uh, it was a huge, massive overhaul, truly, uh, of not only how we interact with the game, how we experience all of the different elements, the different gameplay. It's it's uh, massive sweeping changes to the way that you fly your ship, uh, a lot of stuff. We're just going to jump right in right now, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So to start with, here we go. To start things off with, we are already in a brand new loading screen here, which is awesome. I like to see it when they just mix up every new patch with a new loading screen. It's pretty cool. Um, so here we are in the loading screen everyone's kind of been accustomed to since they've merged everything here into uh, Arena Commander and the, the uh, Persistent Universe. So this has all been the same except for options. So let's jump in here and show a few of the new things we've got in 3.23. So everyone's familiar with these first couple, but we've also got a UI aspect modifier, the upscaling, the DLSS, we've got HDR experimental. Some of these are still uh, the same, but a few of them have changed. You've got uh, obviously now water simulations. We're just going to bump that straight to high um, and a couple of other uh, new things here that, you know, you have obviously at the bottom with the PTU. Uh, Aosha, it definitely will have bugs, um, but as we continue to go through it, that's just going to kind of continue to help polish it. And, uh, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Uh, just continuing to to play it and play test it and uh, you know report bugs as they come up and get it into a good state for everyone when it eventually releases in a few weeks to the larger uh, you know audience of every every backer that's you know gonna otherwise play it but let's go ahead and jump on in here to begin with we've got a little splash screen for biotech corp Bi biotic corp if I can read it cor correctly here so you've got an entirely new way to do all of your characters so just to start with, you've got, there we go here. I want to like move my, uh, move myself in a little bit closer so I can see the screen so that I'm not eating the uh, steering wheel here. In fact, let me actually just change the, uh, change this a little bit here because it's, it's bothering me that my webcam's so low. Here we go. Let's go ahead and there we are. All right. That was bugging me. All right. I felt like I was like getting crushed into the steering wheel of the, of the little webcam here. I think that should be a little bit better. Oh, it defaulted back to the settings. That's why. There we go. That, that feels a little bit better. All right. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the character creator here. So you can select each of these different points and it uses the models of the faces that they've gathered uh, to like approximate what that shape would be. So you can kind of move them around in different ways and it just blends different facial features together to create what you want, like pulling it out or moving it in. So it adjusts everything else based on other contexts that it has. So it's really, really cool how this works. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just jump back. I probably could have just swapped over from there, but we'll go through the little splash screen here once more and uh, we'll get our, our nice bearded character here. But there's a ton of stuff you can do uh, with different skin tones and eye colors and freckles. I mean, it's pretty exhaustive um, what it can all put together here. Right click, slides and drags everything around. 
And then left click is what you'll actually use to toggle and blend these different things here. And uh, kind of cool. I can go like full on, uh, you know, pale red eyes. Go with the vampire build here. Uh, you know, it all depends on what we want to do. What we want to mix things up with. But I'm just going to go with... Uh, with this here, I won't do anything too crazy, but you can see you can kind of adjust quite a lot uh, in what you want to, you know, sort of put together in the different face shapes and everything else. Like, it's pretty cool what you can do. Uh, I like it a lot. That's cool. I'm going to just settle with what we've got here so we can just jump right on in. But you've got a ton of different hairs that you can do and options. And then you can do color and all kinds of different stuff in like different combinations. It's, uh, it's pretty freaking cool, actually. They got quite a lot. Uh, and, uh, yeah, finally some more representative hair choices for, you know, people that, you know, are people of color. They finally have the first couple of hair choices here. It's not a lot, I know. Um, but, uh, you know, it's still a huge step up from what we have. I like just this classic swept, uh, stylings here. We got facial hair too for the very, very first time. I'm going to go with the, uh, massive Mondo beard. Maybe start to begin to work towards that myself. Uh, what else we got here for, we got eyebrows, different color, natural hair color. We just went pitch black, um, but uh, we got some different dye amounts and different tip colorations, different vibrancies. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, it's totally Vici. There we go. Maybe I should throw in a little bit of purple for the uh, for the Vici Dam aesthetic. Uh, I'm trying to match it to my, uh, my purple logo over here. Let me see if I can get it approximated. Here we go. Hold on. Oh my gosh, hang on a second here. There we go, goodness, I'm just all over the place. I was trying to, to move something on my screen, but you know what, I think that's pretty close, so I could see it better. I think we're just gonna go with that. And uh, you know what, that looks pretty good. Do I wish to finalize it? Yeah, let's go ahead, let's do it. And you can also save it down to a local file as well, which is really cool. From there, you can just continue to uh, you know repopulate it with, uh, we're not gonna actually do the tutorial, so we'll just skip that and go right to Microtech on new Babbage. And I've been having a lot of stability on EU servers compared to the US, so we're gonna keep that up. I think it's just gonna be better for us overall, uh, because yeah, been some sketchy experiences on the US servers. Just a lot more crashes, although 30K recovery is in as well. Um, so once you 30K, it'll say like server error, and I think please wait underneath it. And then you'll have to wait like uh, maybe two to three minutes. Um, it can be up to like five minutes though, so just bear with it and then it restarts the server. And I know some people have had mis mixed experiences where it'll restart and the server will have some poor performance. Uh, but my experience has been uh, pretty good. It'll restart and then often have like pretty smooth performance um, for a bit, especially after the restart. Um, but it does seem more prone to 30Ks from that point on. So it may give you more errors going forward. Um, but I've only had one straight to desktop crash. Um, everything else has been really, really good, honestly, for the most part. Uh, my best setting guy seems to still be the sort of uh, go-to for uh, uh, settings. I trialed out a few different things. Um, I'm using DLSS, uh, which has been getting, at least in my you know brief experience, probably between like 40 and 120 frames. Uh, I'll check it intermittently in the stream and see if there's been you know any changes to that. Apparently still occasional infinite loading screens and server errors waiter uh, closer to 60 or 90 seconds or longer on top of it. I see, okay. So maybe just some extra uh, delays here today. It does take a little bit to load in, especially the initial uh, launch. So there was an update like you know, I think earlier today. Uh, but anyways, once you get back in, even after like a small update for the patch, it'll take a little bit for it to populate. Um, yeah, so far, I mean, they got DLSS, FSR, and then I think the other, I forgot what the other one is, but um, yeah, so for all those using any graphics card out there, um, it's a much better experience. Higher frame rates, the problem is there's a lot of stutters on the EPTU, the, you know, test, test realm. So it's kind of hard to gauge exactly how performance is going to be. Um, but I think overall, especially with the amount of assets they now have and the stuff that they've, you know, populated on, you know, planets, uh, I think it's pretty good. Most of the time, uh, you know, when they put in something new, it's just uh, kind of a uh, kind of a mixed bag to start with. Uh, but as you can see here, we're about to load into the verse. It looks like it's crashing, but it means I think it's just pulling in all the assets. Um, so we'll have to see. And if anyone, uh, I don't think we have 
server meshing is currently implemented in any form. If I'm not mistaken, at least. If I'm wrong, correct me, though. Um, but I don't think it's it's been implemented yet. I think that's maybe coming, but I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Um, but it is taking a while. We'll have to see. Maybe this will... Maybe I'll just pop us back up to the cutter while we wait. It's probably going to be a... Probably gonna be a better spot. Let's hang out up here for a little bit while it decides to, to do what it wants to do. I'll set a timer. Let's see if I can... Hold on, hold on one second here. Let me see if I can just set it on my stopwatch. Set it on my watch! Oh, you know what? I should have just I should have just found the icon. Now it's trying to talk about everything I said. Oh, you know, I can't even do it now. I mean, I'm in timers. I'm all kinds of confuddled. Um, but whatever, we'll hang out up here for a couple minutes. And if it's still giving it some problems, well, I don't know what to do. We'll probably just Alt F4, re-verify our game files, uh, and then we'll jump on in. But this is the EPTU. Uh, unfortunately, it's uh, even more buggy than the regular feature set of Star Citizen. So we shall have to see. I think... At this point, I'm just going to alt F for it because no real reason why it should be still taking this long. But I always got to verify after every time I do a, a hard restart just to make sure all my game files are in a row here. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Space Tomato had a stream uh, saying how he's uh, this harkened back to the much earlier days of trying to load in for hours. He was trying to load in for hours? Oh, well, hopefully that is uh, is not a similar experience. We can try server hopping as well. Uh, it might be, I don't know, maybe it's maybe it'll be easier to initially load into the U.S. and then see kind of like from there what, what we want to do if we want to trial out something else or if we... You know, if we want to, um, you know, just stick it out. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Apologies for, for my, my my poor cat's screams in the in the backdrop. She'll be hanging out with us for, for a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see how this all goes. I uh, I have hope though. Honestly, it was like pretty pretty acceptable for me before. Uh, I would say I was uh. Yeah, like, as far as EPTU goes, having a pretty good experience. He got it and is running a marathon 12-hour stream. No, he did get in. Ooh, but just what you uh, early backers may have recalled. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's going to throw us back to uh, to quite a while. Uh-oh, interesting. So, ah, I see. Let's go ahead and... A new error message I've never seen before. Take a look at this. Um, so, server change unavailable... And then uh, changing servers is temporarily locked while your avatar is still trying is still active in game. This can happen after exiting in combat or out allowing rejoining after a game crash. I see. So and then we're going to go to the EU. We have no choice. Well, at least that sort of simplifies that part of the process. You know, we're not going to be able to test by changing servers because this is the server that we're in. Although, let me go ahead and throw my debugger up um, because we may as well. Uh, you know, see what's going on here. All entities must have a streamable parent, unless the entity is also a streaming group root. That is what I say all the time. You gotta accompany your parents. There we go. Let's see. All right. I, I like that they brought back that. Look at us. Locked in at 60 FPS. Amazing. Uh, you know what? Server FPS? Three? Four. I wonder if that's going to be indicative when we actually launch into the server. I imagine so. Not great for the server FPS to be that low, but we'll see. My B-Win's uh, not really moving, but you know, maybe we'll just we'll just have to wait and hang out. But in the interim, while we're waiting and hanging out, let's go ahead and bump on up here. So, it looks like they're uh, going, going to what we're going to be doing today for the stream. Hunting Copion, and also taming them. Uh, we have to hunt them, track them, and then we're going to try... I'm going to try and lure them into the carrot. I think that's going to be our best starting place. Or we could just grab a, a, a Pisces and just load them up into the back, as a lot of people do. But I think it would be cool to have them in a carrot, or even maybe even better yet, have them in like a C2. Just like an entire like zoo of, of Copion. I think I can probably I can probably lure like uh, a pack in 
And then just have them like running around the the bottom of the C2 and just like, you know, causing a ruckus. I think that would be that'd be pretty cool. Maybe maybe we'll, we'll we'll do that. We'll trial out a few things. You forgot are we going to be able to have persistent pet copians? We're going to test it out here and see if we can. Uh I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, I think it'll be easier to, to keep pet copions if we uh, have a, a good ship with a, a nice strong uh, physics grid. Um, I feel like even if we get pets uh, like fully featured into the game, the chances that they'll fall through the floor is like uh, guaranteed. Um, so I think the ships um, that'll initially start off as like mini zoos are going to be interesting. We'll we'll have to see what the uh, the top five uh, zoo ships are in Star Citizen. Video coming soon to a, a mobile device near you. Ooh la la, we're getting some. I'm hoping, um, but uh, everyone's unfortunately beset uh, with ridiculously long uh, queue times for the login. So we'll pop back just to grace the loading screen here with our presence for for but a moment um, but my b-win's changing it's it's all over the place we we got a uh, b-win in the over 9000s we'll give it some time the latest update really slowed down the launch uh, into the game itself um, so we'll we'll just have to be patient and wait for it to decide what it wants to do I think it's gonna it's gonna really push through and the rigs beastly enough I think if it's trying to actually actually load anything uh, I think that you know will be okay but must just be issues connecting with the server and the FPS averaging around three uh, kind of makes sense so we'll just have to stay with it uh, let it do its thing it's really getting close though I see it it's 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 trying real hard you, you, you can watch the suspense with me oh wow not even we're already in well look at that great timing so as you can see here, frame rates are looking really good. Oh, we're getting some skin today. Oh, you know it. You know it. We're rocking the tank tops. It's practically summer now. I am fully committed to the, we are actively in summer and I'm going to ignore the fact that the Midwest is, is still occasionally intermittently cold. We're going full on summer vibes. I'll see if I can actually get out. Full on get out and up out of this. Please release me from this prison. Um, and also, I was realizing that with all my black tank tops or shirts before, my black beard would just meld into that, which would meld into the mouthpiece. I like the contrast from this. But I'm currently trapped in this hellscape of not being able to leave. Please, please free me from this prison. Well, you know what? Backspace is always there. Oh, God. We don't even have backspace anymore. Oh, good unholy God. Let's see Control is often a good trick if this happens. Let's see if it works. Tap it a few times. Tap it and hold it. Go back to holding Y. Tap F. Oh, we're stuck. We are we are locked in now. Bed, get up. I command you, get up. Come on. We got the nice little interaction menu here. I think it's pretty cool. Pretty well done. Albeit not working. I know. That's that's my control. Uh, I know, right? I think for most people, crouch is, is maybe something else. C. For me, it's control. I always, I just hate having C as crouch. I don't know. It feels weird having, having my, my key there. Try shifting, moving, nothing. I'm stuck. We're locked in. But you can see a couple of the new, the new things here. Let's get a good working server. This one's slugging. And now that we've jumped back to the menu, I feel like we'll be able to pop in. But I can't backspace. I can't get out of bed. There's nothing I can do to troubleshoot. Can't crouch, can't shift, can't jump, can't use F, tap F, hold F, left click. And uh, the little wheel men menu ain't working either. Now there is some delay that often happens um, in the PTU and that's to be expected. But if we're there for like 30 seconds and nothing's happening, then, uh, oh, we're still stuck. Oh no. I wonder if this is gonna be the just the heat death of our character. We're just locked into this bed for the rest of eternity, stuck, unable to move, forced to try and and live in disgust and anguish as we as we try and, and escape this prison. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe I can hire somebody to come in and assassinate my character to free me from my uh, 
My princess is cursed. I just need the, the kiss of a prince to free me from this paralysis. I wonder if anyone would. I can't even come in either. Because your hotel rooms are all, are all locked up. That would be cool, though, if we could introduce hacking and allow you to jump on in. No, it's a, it's a good suggestion. The crouch is the uh, is the, is the sort of the hidden mark. Uh, that's the uh, that's the last go to. If you can crouch your way out of a some sort of a seating or or laying position, that's uh, usually usually what's what'll set you free. Stinks too because I was like perfectly set up over on Tressler. I had all my vehicles called. I had a nice little collection of. Uh, of stuff I had snacks on deck I mean I was living good I was living life large <laughs> just pop back on up here but look I'm still I'm still eating three day old whammer burgers now you know such a fall from grace look at us look at this place it's trashed but we were living life large on that space station I had snacks I had guns I had copion horns for days had all my ships there had all the paint. We were oof, rocking and rolling. It was looking amazing. But now, we gotta do the whole process over. Pyro Hut Box makes you want pizza. It's pretty good. Honestly, I think it's worth it. Get some pizza. Even if it's frozen pizza. Pizza's like probably one of my favorite foods. Especially if you get like chicken, vegetables, some mushrooms. I don't know, go crazy with it. Jalapenos and pineapples, all of it. Surfer Boy Pizza, I don't know. Anything you want. We're still waiting. I think we're going to have to go through the same loading process, and then we're going to have to hire an assassin to try and murder our character who's frozen in carbonite. That's just what happens. Now, that is an interesting thing of note that I would like to... Uh, uh, ooh, 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 I got I got kicked back here to the menus. What's going on here? I just didn't even get a choice. It just popped me back. Oh, okay, but now I freed myself from the hellscape that was that EU server. We're going to the US. USA. 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 There we go. Come on. And let's tell you back up here to our little our little home away from home. Although this is really our home, I think. I'm gonna live out of the uh, merchant man, I think, eventually. I mean, I'm gonna always live out of the cutter, you know, but like that go to kind of runabout. If it isn't Marco's Pizza, I don't know if we're talking commercial. It ain't delivery, it's Marco's. All right, let's try this US server. We're gonna see. I've got some, some faith, I've got some hope. That it's got the chutzpah. Let's make it happen, people. I want to go hunt some copion. I want to open a zoo. You know, and uh, maybe release the copion throughout the ship and have people compete, you know, trying to run across it. I mean, the sky's the limit. But we've got flora. We've got fauna. I wonder what's next. I mean, obviously the bird, but what's coming after the bird? I'm excited to see what we got. I really hope that we can bridge from this into pets. Like, I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know how they're gonna pull it off. But I really want just some pets. Some simple pet commands. Oh, I think we're back in. Hold on. Hey, yo, there we are. All right, before we even start this, before we even start this up, Let's go ahead and check out our settings here, because I'm sure we got to tweak a bunch of stuff. Let's just go ahead. Cinematic cameras. Oh, they actually kept all my settings. Wow, look at that. Well, almost everything. Water's high. Okay, I feel the view. Yeah, yeah. All right, not too bad. You know, let's see if I can get up now. Holding Y. Holding Y is not doing anything. All right, let's see if I can tap F. Hold F. Ooh, what's that? Let's see if I can click on this. Get up. Holding F and left click. There we go. We're free. My God, from this unholy prison. Well, we do have... Oh, my God. You see that server FPS? It's all over the place. It is all over the place. Also, let's get some cinematic cameras going on here. 
Um, go ahead and reconnect my uh, my PS4 controller so we can start doing some nice panos. Let's go get ourselves some copions. I think we've we've spent about enough time waiting. Let's get to some action. All right, hang on, hang on. Here we go. Reconnecting. Getting it all dialed up, dialed in, ready to go. All right, so we're going to get like 40-something frames here. Not a problem. All right. Got to get your camera angles locked in. I always do the big FOV on the initial one with the zoom in. And the next one, really tight FOV. Get some great camera angles. We'll go, we'll go a little wide on it. But I, I like it. I think it gets you some really cinematic stuff. It's a bit choppy, but if you throw in the uh, the controller here, see if it'll reconnect on me, not die. Hold on here. Wait a minute. Eh, eh, eh. When you're playing with a 14-year-old a controller. Oh, I think, I think that's gonna work. Oh well, yeah, it looks like it's connecting. You know what, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll, I'll upgrade. But if it ain't broke, why change it, right? I mean, that's that's what I say. If it ain't broke, but maybe this means that it's it's starting to. There we go. Now we can actually experience some nice stuff. So nothing's really changed here with this main area. Um, pretty much everything's the same. Just the interaction menus changed for, for pretty much all of this stuff. Um, but you can hit F as you normally would. Let's go ahead and make our way on out here. Look at that. Microtech as beautiful as always. And I feel like just a little bit sharper, especially the detail in the distance. That in particular, I feel like is just super sharp. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but it just feels like, I don't know. There's there's just a little, a little something extra. You know what? We're just going to walk right alongside our good friend here. And hopefully they'll just uh, get us to where we need to go. One thing is... Uh, trouble with uh, using a controller that you end up having to... Uh, I think I might be just transmitting in game. Here we go. I don't want these poor people's immersive experience ruined because I'm just over here blabbing. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way on down. And honestly, before we do anything else, it's time to, time to get an upgrade for our outfits because this is just embarrassing. And uh, we can't be hunting Copion looking like this. It's a travesty. Let's go ahead and get a spot with some decent lighting. This seems as good as most. Let's go ahead and we'll lose the helmet. There we go. I mean, why are we covering up just this? All right, we can go a little bit more than that. Don't have to. Oh, you know what? I still got maybe some of my gear. Or do I always have a Lamont undersuit? I don't remember, but I don't think I do. My favorite piece of armor, too, is... Honestly, my favorite referral, my favorite referral reward, uh, the Artemis Lodestone. There's just something about this uh, outfit here, the color combination. It's by far my favorite. I love it so much. Um, throw in the Executive Edition. We're gonna get ourselves outfitted with everything. Let's get some. Uh, we, oh, you know what? The uh, Copians are immune to knives, so we won't even bother with that. They're just too strong for it. Look at that. We look amazing. Um, yeah, let's get another dead ringer. Yes. And look at that. My God, we're good looking. Whew. Oh, yeah. A lean, mean fighting machine if I ever saw one. All right, let's go get ourselves locked and loaded. Get our ship all set up here. First thing we're gonna do though is we're gonna try and see if we can catch this train. Oh man, it's the last couple of seconds here. Are we gonna make it in? Woo! Barely in the nick of time. Well, at least it looked like it. Maybe this train yeah, isn't moving. Oh no, it looks like just in time. Well, I don't know what's possessed our, our poor citizen over here, but she looks to be having some trouble. Did the color separation just get better? Why does the Artemis look so much more colorful? I don't know. It does look like it's a bit sharper. Everything honestly just looks like a bit crisper. I don't know. It's like uh, maybe it's just the overall experience of everything else, but it looks good, doesn't it? I mean, at least to me, it does. And it looks like it does to you too, Ken. Could could be the lighting here. Oh, no, they do have the new dynamic uh, 
lights in, like the uh, the like god rays. I wonder if that populated down into some of the other stuff too. But it definitely affects how like all the colors look. I mean, look at this. This is like unmatched anywhere in gaming right now. This level of fidelity here, I mean, this is absurd. Now we are going underneath the earth. Uh, just a heads up, if you take the Microtech trains in EPTU, uh, you're gonna see some, uh, some trippy stuff. It's uh, gonna take a few trips upside down, left, right, sideways. You can see now we're, uh, we're taking a, a, a bit of a wild ride. Like the darker colors look more reddish than brown, very distinctive. So that's not the Canuto variant. No, this is the Artemix Lodestone. I know, GNC, it's getting wild. If you can survive the trains on Microtech, uh, there's pretty much nothing else that'll stop you. Just don't move. Uh, is my only recommendation until the vehicle has come to a, a complete stop. Oh, God! We didn't get out fast enough. Oh, dear Lord. Well, you know what? I guess we're going back on that wild ride. You gotta get the load set under your buybacks. Highly recommend it. It's my favorite set yet. I know. Oh, we are in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble now. But that's okay. Just gotta have faith. You just gotta believe. I'm gonna keep walking, I don't care. These trains don't scare me. My dear God though, there is there is something quite special about the uh, inhuman experience that these trains offer sometimes. Next patch, choose area 18. The trains at least work. I mean, fair enough. I love Microtech, uh, deadly trains and all. Um, I know 18's the, the, the good spot. It's got everything you need. But honestly, it's hard for me to give up on my home, which is my little snowy castle that is Microtech. I just, I love it here. There's just something, I don't know, that just feels quite nice about being in this little snow city. And we're going for the Copion, so for me, that's why I'm rocking and rolling it. I probably should have got off there, because I think this is probably going to Aspire Grand. I'm just gonna stay on this thing while it just does what it wants to do. You know, I'm 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 a, a behest to what this thing does. Let's see. Next stop, Aspire Grand. Oh, this is the Tobin Expo Center. Yeah, probably both places will take me. The commons. This is going back to Aspire, and then it'll make its way on over, I think, back to the spaceport at some point. That's the EPTU, though. I do love me a. Oh, you know what? This one's this one's taking us somewhere. I feel like I'm about to get rocketed out into space. Somehow, this one's still holding mighty steady. You know, and I don't think I've ever gone on the uh, the full train experience here. Did I find any? Oh, I found some quantum. I got the copions finally. Uh, I just dropped a guide uh, right before the live stream, but we're gonna be going and we're gonna be hunting them down. I've got the inside sauce. Once we get out of the hellscape, that is all of these trains. We're going to Aspire Grand. All right, you know what? Next, next is Spaceport, and we got a friend this time. But we're not going to miss a beat. As soon as this door opens, I'm out of here. I won't let them get us this time. But we're just going to try and survive one last train ride to begin with. Who yeah, knows what will happen? Uh, but once uh, uh, we get out of here, I highly recommend everyone do the same thing, which is wherever you are for your starting city, get out. And then once you're out, uh, just go to the nearest space station. So Tressler or Bygeni or Everest or any of those that orbit the major city. And then use that as your like go-to spot uh, because it's just a lot easier than having to to do this, you know. Uh, you know, even if uh, you know you like the city or it's got some good stuff, it's always just better to jump into the verse from a space station. Um, it'll ideally be best when you're already in your ship, uh, but in the interim, this is going to be the best we got. Um, I'm going to try some bed logouts in this, but they patch it so frequently that the chances are I'm just going to end up, you know. Probably just uh, getting getting my you know the account wiped and then have to restart all over because on the EPTU wipes happen like near constantly. 
almost every other day or every day or twice in a day. It all depends on how good the performance is and uh, and all that. But without further ado, we're going to switch on over here to the mouse and keyboard so we don't miss a moment of us trying to escape. I love, too, that every single person now has a beard. All right, which side are we going? Left, right, left, right. Go, 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 go. Hope they add the new hangers soon. I agree. I can't wait to get some persistent hangers. That and pets are like two of the things that I'm like most excited for. But yeah, for those that didn't already notice it, um, you can't see it in the top left because that's where my face is, uh, but there's usually a little mini map up there. Um, maybe I'll, I'll move myself over to the top right. There's probably not as much that goes on up into the top right. So maybe I'll do that instead. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can. See if I can just do that. Whoa! Oh! Uh oh! No! Uh -oh. No! I just got clipped by the elevator. Uh. Can I drag this in a way that, uh, you know, let me just, there we go. There we are. Now I got to flip my camera the other way. Let me go ahead and do that. Then we'll flip this. How do I do that? Let's see. Keep. You're thinking about melting your C2 and getting a Vanguard Harbinger. Um, I don't know if it's a good ship or not. Um, the Vanguard Harbinger is awesome, but I wouldn't swap it for the C2. I love the C2. I think it's an amazing ship. Um, and how do I switch this on? There we go. Uh, flip horizontal. Yeah, there we are. All right, hopefully it should be a little bit better now. Uh, you can actually see the menu. Before, it was better for me being in the top left. Now we're in the top right. We're going to rock it over here for a bit. So, got to go through back through the same process. I guess in the EPTU, you should beware of elevators. They're back to killing you. Um, so, we went through that whole process and then got murdered by an elevator because that's just what elevators do. Uh, I didn't want to lose my Artemis, so I backed out to menu, but now we're jumping back on in. We shall see. Masha, hello, welcome on in. Uh, glad to have you here. Welcome to the EPTU. Uh, as with anything in Star Citizen, we've got plenty of bugs, and we're going to be, you know, trying our best to get to the objective today, which is to tame some pets, uh, open a zoo, you know, have a good time. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna pop back up, and we're gonna hang out here in the uh, in the the glorious cluttered cutter for the meantime, just until we can get pushed back on in. Um, very, very long loading screens in this patch in the EP2 right now. So we're just going to have to bear with it. Um, planet diving indeed. So we're just going to try and get to a uh, space station ASAP uh, just because it is so much easier to get to the verse, to get to where you need to. We just got to get out and get on over there. So fingers crossed we're going to be successful. I'm not even going to worry about doing anything cinematic in the meantime. The controller is away. I put it down. I stepped away from the controller. We're just going to min-max it. I'm just going to try and get there, get in, get out, and get rocking and rolling because we'll have to see. You got a CCU chain for a C2, but me and others have convinced you of just buying one in-game. Uh, yeah, I think it's an awesome buy in-game. Um, I think it's probably going to go up in price significantly um, would be my, my guesstimate just because how cheap it is it doesn't really make much sense. Um, so you got the Zeus CL, the awesome ship. Can't go wrong with the Zeus line. Um, I want to see how much the C2 actually is in game. I keep forgetting. My brain's saying 4 million, but that doesn't sound right. So I wanted to see what my in-game price is. I feel like it's got to be more than that. It's 15 million in-game. Is it always 15 million? Is it really? I thought it was... CIG's getting us on both sides. Yeah, raising the prices and the in-game. Still, it makes sense. I do think, yeah, a lot of these ships are going to balance out. It's reading out here on the, the wiki as 4.9 million. 
But has it changed in the uh, EPTU? We'll update soon with the new economy update. Did they say it was going to be that? I would expect it to. Um, Crusader C2 Herc is... Uh, yeah, no, it's it's 4.9 million. That's crazy. It's That's way too cheap for it. All right, let's go ahead and jump back on in here. Oh, there we go. I don't know why it all of a sudden just went like max volume, but sending it. I don't know if that just got louder for everyone, but my my uh, my Spotify just started bumping in my AirPods. Let me know if that's crazy though. If the uh, if the volume's too much. Oh, I I just bumped my overall. That's why. There we go. Hang on a second here. We can go back up. Uh, the 890 will cost 79 million. Hold on, GNZ, can you just like drop a list real quick of some of these uh, updates? Because I would love to see what some of these new ships are. Did not hear a jump in audio. Yeah, that was just me fumbling. Oh, look at that. Say hello to my little friends. All right, you know what? I've encountered this before. You just gotta pull them off and pop them back on. The Angel of Death, truly. Uh, oh my, there we go, Gundam Moan activated. There we go, you know what? it's too hard not to be cinematic, I'm sorry. The controller's coming back up, you can't take it away. If you do, I'll just find a way to get that controller again. I mean, look at that. Come on, people. Ave Sinistra Gundam Mode, let's go. I know, I, I de Gundams, but look at that. I mean, my God. How is that rig pyro shotgun? It's amazing, Masha, it slaps. Right, what a beautiful, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You can't not activate cinematic mode. It's gotta be always on. But the dead rig shotgun, the pyro shotgun is be by far, arguably the best gun in the game right now. It's like one shots anything uh, it has a really long reload double barrel, so you got two shots in it overall. But if you're up close, like round in a corner, you just pop someone with that. It doesn't matter if they're in heavy armor. You shred. It's amazing. Uh, I was testing out a few of the different things. FS9 is unfortunately just like a PVE gun right now. Uh, but that's kind of a great spot for it to be. Now, unless you're running Jump Town or somewhere, ammo is like really a big consideration. You always love the A90, but just too much. Too big. I always thought that too, but then I got a merchant man, so I don't know what I was thinking. Gotta get over your fear and get to Pyro. Get you one of those rig shotties. You do, it's good. I recommend it. How's everyone liking me being up in the top right, by the way? You can now see the top left and actually, uh, well, let's just let's stay first person. That was a horrible experience. Uh, let's just see up here. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the mini map in the top left. You can also like uh, set some roots within the mini map itself. Uh, on top of all of that, um, you got little, little new icons now. Green are doors that are accessible to you. Red are restricted in some way. Um, and uh, yeah, we got a nice collection of people here in all kinds of different fit. We've got the Lamont undersuit, but rocking the uh, one of the beacon helms, I believe. It's a it's a, a an interesting choice in fit. We've got just like straight up undergarments, a classic. A classic in any video game, really. You have a merchant man also, but you just wanted to lock it in while it was cheap. Understood. A purchase uh, of, uh, you know, uh, future proofing, so to speak. I'm surprised nobody joined me. Everyone was kind of standing waiting. I wonder if maybe they didn't see it. Maybe it desynced so bad. Or maybe they're just not used to the uh, manor. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Some people are popping in. Oh, there we go. Wow, that was a that was some serious desync. It's a good thing I stood still, though. I feel like um, had I not, I would have probably been knocked around by somebody. Was it just the four of us that made it in? Looks like just the four of us. Look at the detail on those guns. And how, like, the light casts its way through the, the clouds now. Now that we get to fly out of the normal tracks. Oh, Masha, we've been going on some, uh, some quite interesting journeys here uh we've uh i think taken like 15 train rides we've uh, almost died a few times uh we touched god and uh and the devil alike and, and my god 
you know? We became God, we reincarnated. It, it's been an experience. Right now, we're just touching the edge of the universe itself. The train's departing, so it thinks we've already arrived. The doors have opened. I'm a little bit scared. I don't know. Do you guys think we should... Oh, there we go. Let's see if anyone else makes it out. Look at that. You gotta go. The moment it populates in the known universe. Look at that. The only two to actually... Oh, oh three to make it out. Someone's trapped on it. Oh, they're back on. Oh, no. Oh, the train actually almost swept me up into its hellscape. But we've survived. We're veterans of the train. Once you... Once you've died a few times in its uh, trainliness, then you can uh, kind of just... Oh, you know what? Let me uh, let me see if I can hop a ride with our, our fine folk over here. I'll let somebody else push the buttons, but, you know, we're going to... We're just going to pop on in. If you don't mind doing the, doing the honors here, blurry man. Yeah, there we go. Everyone's just in their default uh, outfits here. All right, I'm just going to pop on in. Don't mind me. The one nice thing about having your default suit is that you're pretty quick. Even in our Artemix, we're a little bit slower, but I think the Artemix has gotten a bit of a speed buff. Because I feel like a little bit faster now with it. I don't know, it might just be me, but it definitely does feel like I've gotten a little bit more spunk in my step. I don't know. Let's see if uh, anything else has changed here. I think some things have. Of course, the uh, AI is, is terrified, as always. Somebody probably whipped out a cruise at the wrong time. Uh, this commercial flights over here into the uh, personal... Oh, not this one. Here we go. That's that's for uh, a future, future update. This one here, the, the surface access, has that always been here? Or is that in like 322 that that came? Where you can get ground vehicles right from there. I don't remember that being... I know that there was the accessible lot that you used to get through the... Uh, through the commons, I believe, or the intersect between the commons, but... That was here for a while. Okay, I guess I just haven't been up there in that in that corner of the spaceport. Usually when I come up, I'm like beelining for these. Uh, all right, now comes the final test. Is this guy actually in? Wow, he doesn't have any ships. That could be problematic, but he, he got in. Let me try a different one. Maybe these over here are just having trouble. Thing is, you just gotta, oh God. Oh dear God, they did it, it worked. Okay, we gotta be patient, I understand. My impatience will be the death of me. I'll tap F once. And I'll just sit Welcome here and wait. There the we go. We're going to go for the uh, the Defender. So I just want to get out of Atmo fast. Actually, I don't know if... Yeah, you know what? We're going to get the Defender. Take the Defender. Defender also got a huge buff. For those that don't know, uh, the Banu Defender is... It's amazing right now. It's got uh, two shots in each of its Singe Cannons, which is kind of crazy. But it's incredibly powerful and can, like, insta-kill some fighters. Uh, hangar, what is this? Hangar 3? I think we're going there. Yeah, let's do it. Hangar 3, let's rock and roll! Here we go. I always like to do a nice cinematic walk out to the ship. You gotta appreciate the little things. New interface. Yeah, it's nice. Do they give it hit scan back? I think it does. I think it finally has hit scan. I mean, look at the ship, too. Come on. I haven't actually done any fighting with the with the defender in this patch, but just look at the lines, look at the detail. God damn, that's a beautiful ship. I mean, whoo! That's why I can't even I can't even switch up the default paint on this. I refuse to. The gold, ah, it's just too good. We could try catching Copion in this, but we gotta get something bigger. This is just to get us out. We've just gotta we just gotta get out of here. I wonder what the, the new F default is on the controller. I'll have to keybind that later. Slick, it is! All right, let's go ahead and we'll make our way back on in here. There's a few new, uh, obviously, UI improvements here, but some existing bugs, as you can see from the door. So it's kind of interesting seeing the uh, massive improvements, but also like the, the funny little things that have persisted since like some update however many you know moons ago this instance was i think it was like 320 that broke the doors in the defender they just haven't been they haven't been the same since let's see if my defender will turn on activate defender mode uh let's see go go gadget defender oh that was the one that did the trick I just gotta get out. We're just trying to escape. That's our only goal right now. Just get out and get 
gone. Also, some new speeds for those that aren't aware. Uh, some pretty big changes, actually, with that. So, ships don't really quite fly as fast. Um, but I found that if you decouple, you can kind of trick it a little bit. Um, but to start with, you also always want to be out of landing gear. Because you can only go 30 meters per second. Um, so, quite slow. I think C is the new cruise control, if I'm not mistaken. No, Alt-C alt as the default key bind here. Oh, C is the uh, I see here. We'll make our way up and out of here. You also want to be in, in the... Uh, in the quantum travel mode. If you're not, it's going to give you trouble. And then I think if you switch... Yeah, if you decouple, you can push the limiter. Oh, it could just be atmosphere, though. I know you can... In certain planets, I think go faster and in deep space as well. But otherwise, we're just going to... Go through the slightly slower trip this time. Oh, and it didn't close the outside. That's fine. We'll just be open-mouthed in our uh, <laughs> in our defender for a little bit here. I think that'll uh, that'll just be our our solution. Let's go ahead and plan our route to Tressler. Get ourselves all situated for whatever we need. We got the brand new an absolutely beautiful quantum map here and the UI interface for the movie glass itself devouring space plankton yeah we got to feed the defender as we're as we're going out you can't forget the defender but look at that look how much nicer it is so much more responsive boom you click on that Tressler that's what I want that's where I want to go set the route little animation plays ooh la la now you got it mapped over there. You can see where it is. Boom, we're practically already in space. My God, that was fast. Well, that's the Defender for you. That's one lean, mean, space-eating plankton machine, but look at the cinematics on that. I swear the level of detail at this distance was never quite this good, but it, here it is. Here we are. All right, let's go ahead and we'll position ourselves up and over where we got to go. We'll spin around, boost up our quantum, get ourselves brought over to Tressler, and then we can finally get underway here. Booyah, Kesha! Now we're going to decouple. And look at that. Look at that speed boost you get with a little, little decouple, a little, little space thrust. There we go. Oh, wait. Hold on a second here. We've got to be in our other menu. Then you can get crazy speeds. It's stuff like this that makes you feel like you can never let go of your defender. I agree. I completely agree. This is a ship that you just can't get rid of. There we go. Now we're cruising. Look at that speed. So it looks like you, you have to uh, have your, your Kwanzaa pulled up. That, that seems to be another limiter too. So, all right. Now we got Now we got to slow down. Now we're coming in too hot. Let's go ahead and space comms, port transfer. There we are. We're going to decouple, spin around here, throw a space break on, take a look around. Where are you putting me? Where are we going? Where's my, uh, where's my hangar? Is that the one they're giving to me? Hangar 2? Looks like that's it. All right. Some things like the, uh, the old little icon I think I liked a little bit better for this. It was a little bit more visible, but it's not bad. Not bad at all, and I really don't got any complaints. So if you throw on your landing gear like this, all of a sudden you're going super slow. It, like, space breaks you down really quick. So it can be a nice little strategy if you're coming in somewhere hot, but you can do like I just did there, a little shift, and that allows you to go past that limiter. So it's kind of cool. You can, like, do these things where you kind of just, like, use shift to kind of get on in a little bit. It feels like they made a few like adjustments to tighten up combat but i think it'll also help new players that start off with this flight model i think it's something direwolf hello welcome on in i think it's something where people will initially feel weird because i did uh when they first switch over to everything in 323 but then afterwards you'll be like oh yeah i mean this makes sense this feels better i'm glad that this is what it is now um but initially i was like oh this is harder to fly i don't know if i like this and then it got better, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I can rock with this. This is cool. Have I completed overdrive? I have not. 
I don't even know if I'll actually finish through Overdrive. Um, just because, yeah, I don't know. I, there's not a strong incentive for me for the armor. Um, cause I, I love all the other armors that I have. Um, and, uh, I'm not personally going to pick up the F7A, but I, part of me also wants to like do that hundred percent completion. Um, but like, I'm just starting to get into a little bit of Baldur's Gate three, uh, with my wife and her and I have been, uh, doing our, our like second playthrough and like trying to really do everything we missed the first time um so i don't know it's hard overdrive initiative or playing a little bit more baldur's gate i usually lean towards baldur's gate so i don't know um but i do like the events that's, that's the cool thing that's true there is no such thing as a little baldur's gate that's very true we need to get it done for you even just for the free armor that's true and i do like the 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 um the, the like uh the options there with that well if it's your second playthrough that's true i do know what i'm doing a lot better now let's go ahead and store the band new defender but honestly i've been enjoying star citizen this is the first time that i've like really jumped into some new content in a while so it feels great getting in here doing that um so we can do a couple of different options here i think the c2 might be the best but i kind of want to rock something else i don't know it sounds weird but like i really want to pull out the uh, the Anvil Carrick, but I know that it could be troublesome. The nice thing, though, is that we could, if we pulled out the Carrick, at least, uh, you know, have a spawn in case things get real hairy. But just to begin with, let's make sure that our spawn is also reset over here. Never played BG3, but that F7A sounds OP. If you haven't played BG3 and you've got, like, uh, is it on console? It must be. Um... And obviously, if you're, you know, here, you're, you know, also a, you know, PC player. But uh, I would highly, I mean, not necessarily, um, but I would highly, highly recommend playing Baldur's Gate 3. It's um, probably one of uh, the top three best games I've ever played. Hands down. Hands down. Absolutely one of the best games ever made. Um, the story is incredible. I'm a, I'm a lifetime Dungeons & Dragons player. I've been doing it since I was, like, eight years old. I love D&D. Um, but this is a game that even if you've never played D and D before, this is a game that's that's it, it 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 works for everyone. I think I don't think there's a single person that wouldn't enjoy it. There's literally endless options to do all kinds of crazy stuff. A ridiculously awesome story. And uh, yeah, for anyone out there that hasn't played Baldur's Gate three, uh, you are you are missing out on an experience of a lifetime. Uh, it's very very good. Uh, but you know what? So is Star Citizen, and Star Citizen's very, very good right now for hunting Copion. So let's go ahead and get on in there uh, and uh, and knock stuff out of the park. I'm sure they will nerf the F7A ultimately, as they always do with pretty much everything. But, you know, that's okay. It is cool, though. Zeus might be coming soon. I'm excited for that as well. But I do feel like I also have to 100% do the completion, because I'm somebody who loves doing that completionist track. So let's see, we gotta have something with an open loading bay so that we can pull the the the, uh, the ones in there. I also really love the idea of doing a C2. The thing is with the C2, it's really good in atmospheres, but it's got such an awesome... Now, you know what? I'm going with the Carrick. The C2 is the better choice, I think, but there's just something about the Carrick and exploration and it just and 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 everything else that we're doing that just it feels like it's the right choice. Might be hard to pull off, but we're gonna do it. If it requests the delivery, let's see. It doesn't seem to want to be working with us. Oh. Uh -oh. Maybe we have a 30k. Maybe we'll do the 30k recovery. No, nope, just some slowdowns. Here we go, okay. Let's pull out the Carrick. Masha, are you usually a, a go-to dogfighter when you play, or do you, uh, what's your go-to dogfighter, if, if, if so? Do all you still can before they smack the engineering loop into that thing. That's true. Are they going to implement that while everything else is going on with the overdrive initiative and everything? I'm out of the loop with the, the, like, most recent updates cutting in. Here we go, finally! Fourth time's the charm on calling the Garrick. Come on, Carrick. We got to get some Gopion. Let's go, Carrick. You can try the engineering in AC. Oh, that's right. I saw that before. I have to give it a whirl. All right, we're going we're gonna to wait this out. 
I don't know. Want to capture me some some copions? We could also do the old school method and just bring on down the you know Pisces, and then you know just uh, try and scoop them up. I don't even know if I have a base Pisces. I have the C8R. Uh, I don't know if it works with the base Pisces, but I imagine I can probably fit a few of them in there. I might just be stuck, you know, trying to push past all of them. Ooh, this, uh, this menu here is looking a little suspect. I don't know. Whoa. Well, I at least freed myself from whatever that was. Let's try this different menu here. I feel like this one's going to be less cursed. Go for the Gladius. Well, that's a classic. I mean, I think I think you just never can go wrong with, with the Gladius. Especially in 323, the polish on the Gladius, the new sounds, it's pretty amazing when it comes to PvP, but PvE usually switch it up between ships. Yeah, I feel like pretty similar, although there's there's usually my, my go-tos. What do you usually go to for your runabout? I'm always grabbing either the... The Redeemer, if I need something, the tank, or the Banu Defender, if I want to do anything. Although I've been mixing it up a little bit with the 325A. That's fun, too. But you can't go wrong with a good old Carrick. Oh, and I love this FOV because it makes these ships seem like as big as they truly are, which is absolutely gi freaking gigantic. My god. Even I forget how big these ships are sometimes. These things are giants. Barrick really does need a second entrance, though. Usually take the 600i or the A1, but the Zeus MR will fill that spot 100%. Uh, yeah, the A1 and the 600i are great runabouts. It's kind of like a similar. You want something a little bit, a little bit more nimble, and then you want something that's got that that tankiness to it. I think with the Zeus MR, I feel like it'll probably take your A1 spot, but I, I suspect you'll probably still be pulling out the 600 i when you want the tankiness. At least personally, there's something I really, really love about having that extra oomph that you get with the size 3 shield generator. There's there's just something uh, really forgiving about, about wielding it. Let's see if it'll let me pull this back or if I gotta use the console back. You haven't flown your Carrick in ages. I know. That's why I brought it out. I feel like I'm just never using it. I can't even close it up. All right. Well, this is how we're going to be funneling the Copion in. We're just going to try and have them chase us up here and lock them down into this area. And, of course, we've got our Copion shield. There we go. See? To prevent them from getting around behind and into us. I actually think this may really, like, genuinely, truly work pretty well. We can also pop off some shots, too, if we have to from here. You know, if we've got some some baddies creeping up on us, you know, we can try and... Uh, I know I got my med pen out, but you get the uh, general gist of what we'd be doing. 600 i especially after the rework, will be extremely hard to replace. I agree, and it's actually got me got me in, in quite a pickle. Um, but it can fit vehicles the size of a Nova. I know, that's crazy. And it has the weapons and armor locker. If you got the Exploration Edition, you've got the, the med bay in there. I mean, for me, it's like... I've got a few ships that I'm like really trying to figure out. Carrick, 600i, and Galaxy. Those three, I'm like, oh man, which is gonna be my like large exploration runabout? Because I feel like they all fit a very similar niche. Uh, you know what? Let's see if this works. You used to not be able to fly the Carrick from up here. How's the new inventory implement? Is it implemented yet? Um, I think it's like not fully implemented. I think maybe it'll be coming with personal hangers. I'm not entirely sure to be honest. Um, oh, you know what? I think we might actually be able to, for the first time in a very long, long time, fly the character from up here. I don't know though. We're gonna we're gonna just try and see. You used to only be able to, to navigate a bunch of stuff on the bottom. But so far, I think we might be okay. Let's go ahead and get ourselves set over here. And then of course you got the, uh, the inside here. You've got a ton of different options. You can see all the different things. It's very cool. I don't know. I love the uh, the new map improvements, but here we are. Let's go all the way back. We gotta check out Microtech. Wait for it to load too while you're pulling back there, because it takes a little bit sometimes. I know Casters is along the equator, so let's just try and see if we can find it. Looking good. 
All right, here we are. Here we are. Where are we? We're getting we're getting close. Aster's clearing. We're either coming in at sunset or at sunrise. Star map's looking real snazzy. Here we are. Let's get a nice wide field of view so we don't break anything as we're going out. Look how tight this is, too. My god. You know what? I'm going to keep the landing gear down as we initially go through. Just because I want to I want to lock that speed in at 30. It's kind of nice. Especially with whatever the heck is going on here with my uh, with my camera angles. There we go. Let's tuck it on in here. Go one FOV down. Get a little bit of uh, better camera Thank angle you. there. Leaving with the mighty, magnificent Carrick. All right, let's get ourselves spooled up here. Oh, is that it? I can't access the quantum from here. Ah, son of a gun. We were so close. Almost able. Let's see if I put on my landing gear. Yeah, it's almost like putting on the landing gear actually makes you go space break slower. It's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll exit the ship here. And jump on over. Pop on into the true captain's seat. Even though it's way better up on the top one. And I don't really know why they have two to begin with. But, you know, that's alright. And let's see if uh, I can get some power down here. There we go. Bad joke referencing when we first saw the C1s dwarfing whatever the hangars they spawned in. Oh! Oh, that's true. Uh, that uh, is still the case. Uh, at least until we get personal hangers, sadly. Um, where are our markers? Let's go ahead and get ourselves spooled up here. I actually read that as a C2 in my brain, even though I said C1. There we go. The only trouble I've had is is trying to find these markers sometimes is really hard. Um, because it's just it blends in so much with the backdrop. But while that's queuing up here, let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll get a few things that are situated for the aesthetics. There we go. Have we made the jump? Oh, we're still spooling. That's right. We got a big old drive here. We gotta, we gotta wait and give it all the time it needs for our little drive to catch up. There we go. We we'll get some cinematic pans though as we're going through. Something very cool about the Carrick, like it's got a uh, unmistakable, just like a uh, sex appeal. I don't know. It's got that military industrial vibe. Kind of reminds me of just like I don't know, just like the 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 endless possibilities that you know can can await you. You know, it, it's. It's gonna be amazing when they finally have everything fully implemented on the Carrick, like in terms of its sheer exploration potential with its with its drones and uh, fabrication center and everything else. All right, let's go ahead and spin ourselves around here. We got some. Hold on, why am I? Why am I losing losing altitude here? Come on, there we go. Because I was still coming out of a slow quantum, it would seem. All right, we also want to reset our route, which is still possible, which is great, so that we can get a uh, get a good read on where we're we're trying to go. So we'll grab Aster's clearing, and sometimes it does this where it says the route's not available. Oh, is it because I have my guns back? That's right. Here we go. Oh, might just still be spooling up for that. I guess you can't even set the route unless you're in the the quantum menu, or maybe that's just a bug for for us right now. We'll, we'll see. Let this thing queue all the way up. Man, it takes a long time on ships like this. All right, let's see if that'll let me set it now. I don't know if it'll make it much of a difference. No, it's still not available. Okay, so what if we now spawn that up? If it'll let us go and, and set the route. Yeah, it just seems to be unavailable, but it looks like it's to the north west of us, I'm gonna say. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's just searching it to me, and I don't want that. 
Aster's Clearing. Maybe I can click on this. Can I click on anything? Oh, well, you know what? We're just going to have to use our little quantum thing here to point towards it. There we go. Now we can do that. It is cool, the, the little maps. Let's get full power to engines. Love the sounds, too. Look at us flying on in here. Big beast of a Carrick. Great new improvements. Still a little graininess on the clouds, even at high, but overall, definite improvements. Here we go. Nice little boost on in here. I don't know why I'm losing shields. Oh, wait. I'm losing shields because I'm in the... Yeah, I'm in the, the, the quantum menu, but it's slowly losing it. That's right. The transitions aren't like immediate. Looks like we got some hotbed of activity here. A couple of ships hanging out. It's getting pulled up here. F8C Lightning. Um, there are just the two flight modes, like quantum spooled and not, um, but then like the speeds are then tied to it. Um, as we're gonna approach on in here, we're gonna tab. There we go. Let's see if these are the... Yep, looks like we've probably got a few Copion down in here. Or it could be rocks. No, I think, I think these are rocks. All right, we got rocks, but I do believe we will find some Copion soon. All right, well, let's go ahead and just keep scanning as we make our way on through here. Get some VTOL thrusters going here. As we slowly plot along with our with our Carrick. Not seeing any. A few unknown points of interest. But no Copion clusters at the moment. I don't know what that is. Looks like something. Oh, wait, no, that's a Copion cluster. Yeah, there's a few of them over there. All right, in that case, let's go ahead and try and... We'll try and get over and land close to it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, we're, uh... We are very big, aren't we? Let's see how we can do this without crushing the entire city here. There are a few clearings behind and around. I don't think I'm going to be able to land over here uh, in this corner. I think I might be too big for the strip right here. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, no, I might be able to land right here. I think this is doable. I think I should be able to pull aggro as well. I think I can go that far. Let's give it a whirl and we'll see how it goes. And we'll set the uh, we'll set the spawn back over. Oh, hang on a sec. Nope, that was just not populating the trees. So instead, I think we can do it over here. I hope this is just a clearing and not another empty spot. And then I think, and then it ends up being. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to angle ourselves very carefully. But we can do it. Let's just tuck ourselves over here. Nice having the um, the landing gear speed reduction. I guess you could say landing gear is kind of a third mode. Yeah, you know what? I think that's... Yeah, that's probably pretty good right there. I think, I think we've done it. Let's go ahead and shut off the engines. Try and see uh, how many of these Copion we can grab and then we'll tame them. You know, we can, we, we can, you know, try feeding them, you know, different foods. See if, you know, we can, uh, 
you know, get them, uh... Uh-oh. I don't really know why I've got emergency lighting. I'm sure it's probably fine. Let's see if we can spy them here to begin with. I think they were, like, right over... Right over around here. Let's, let's, uh... Let's go hunt them down. Kind of ominous. I don't know if I like that lighting. It definitely a bit foreboding. Is this door going to open up for me? I don't think I have to click on it. There we go. Ooh, I'll try it. Let's see what we got. Dead rig shotgun. FS9. Med pens. We got the Bloodline multi-tool. My character is a drama queen. We didn't do anything. I swears it. Let's see if I can call it. It's not moving. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh, what's happening? There we go. Sub deck, there we are. Come on. I don't know why it keeps pulling out stuff. Pretty sketch. Subdeck, please. That's true. Better a drama queen than a hanger queen. I agree. I feel like it's just got a ton of like delay. Or I just can't come here. Oh my god. I wonder if it's it yeah, it does. It is like super delayed. You went to a bunker, hostile territory warning, killed four people, and now you're in prison, racking up a huge record. Well, uh, I have Horus. It, uh, it sounds like you you at least, um, current floor. Can I teleport down? No. That's not where I currently am. Take me down to the sub deck. Damn you. Better a hanger queen than a concept queen. That's true. Well, that was weird. Uh-oh. This is freaking me out. Can you not kill in hostile bunkers on live or in the EPTU? You should be able to. Oh gosh. We're already starting off in a uh, in a rough way, but you know, that's Star Citizen for you. Let's get to it. Ooh. You know, I should have set my med spawn. You know, just just in case. Yeah, you know what? I think maybe we maybe we will go back. Cause imagine going through this whole process and then we die and we could have just respawned. You know? I'd feel pretty bad. I think it's on the technical deck. Or maybe it's habitation. No! I think it might have been habitation. Well, we'll try and let out. As you can see, the Carrick is you usually uh hanger queen oh my god i thought i literally died just trying to get to the spot where i would hopefully not die go 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 oh this is medical that's right please let me in I feel like eric andre let me in there we go please 30k. Impossible. Did I want hot spot you dropped into? If you're considered a hostile to a bunker in the local com race not taken down, you get yourself guaranteed crime stat. Alright, let's see if I can swap this. Moment of truth. Just trying to switch over my my medical here. I am a bit worried that if I do this, I may lose it back over at Tressler, but you know what? I'd rather have the Ooh, admin, that's right. Uh, there we go. Transfer from Celtic. Will it let me? Eh. Maybe. Adventure calls and anvil aerospace answers with the Carrick. Not letting me transfer my imprint. Right, maybe I'll close it out and go back. Maybe this one's not working, but the bed one will. Still looking like it wants to try. Oh, maybe that's the 30k. 
When the sounding game stops, you know you're in you're in some trouble. There should be a 30k recovery. Oh, looks like it's not working. Oh, see? There is usually. But it would seem like it didn't work this time. Oh, and server change is unavailable. Let's see if it puts us back in the Carrick at Aster's Clearing. Usually, when I've had this in the past, it just like lets me on through. We got this close. Maybe I won't swap the the imprint because if I do it and I end up back at New Babbage and have to go through that entire train ride experience again, I think we'll be in we'll be in more trouble than it's worth than if we had just spawned back at Tressler and then just made the the journey over from there. At least those are my thoughts. We got to at least see the Copion. But if you didn't already check out my video, just released it a little bit uh, a little bit late. It was uh, more of a a Saturday at uh, at four instead of a Friday at three. But I just could not get these Copion working for me in time for me to put out the video yesterday. So unfortunately, a day late, but not a dollar short. Hopefully, if we can get in here and make some money off these Copions, get them working for us this time. I'm pretty sure, though, if we can get back on in, that I can get them on board. I can, I can aggro and kite the Copion into the, uh, into the Carrick. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it actually pushes me back planet side. Uh, if not, that maybe I can pull it in Tressler and at least make my way back on in from there. We at least know that there are good Copion on site and. And we've uh, got a, a place that we can position a large ship. So all the pieces are in play for us to be able to, you know, make a zoo here. But we just need Star Citizen working with us and we'll be rock solid. Going through the regular loading screen all over again. Well, in that case, might as well just pop on up here to the cutter and enjoy the space and the freedom that comes with just living life the cutter way. Hey, I'm thirsty. Whew. Uh, but I'm curious to see what happens. All the 30Ks I've had before had the 30K recovery in. And now Star Citizen's making me a liar because that wasn't 30K recovery. That was a whole bunch of baloney. A big bologna sandwich. That's what that was. But my goal is to have an Endeavor Zoo at some point. So, I know we can get this together. We can make it happen. This is the first part of that process. Alright, let's see where it brought us. Not back into the Carrick, that's for sure. But, we're also not at New Babbage, so... You know, improvements. Okay, so we do have some of the gear storage currently in, but not working very well. We got the first implementations of the UI for what will be the gear storage. We've still got our gear fully Gundamed now. Hello! Wow, I love the facial animations on everything here. Human! Hello, human! Call this. Yeah, call that one. Call them both. Growing pains indeed. As long as you don't go back to the pain of a 318 build. Did you jin jinx things? I don't think so. Hoping they have contingencies in place to avoid that. That is the thing. I do know that the uh, only problem up here is that you may have to wait a very long time for the elevators. So either you go to the death train or the uh, the nightmare elevators, as it were. This gear storage works too? Interesting. Just a ton of these all around. I see. Even more than terminals usually. 
I feel like these are going to populate, but they may take some time. Let's see how the overall server performance is and if it's worth sticking it out here on this server or just getting, getting somewhere else. I don't know. Might not be worth it. I know we're in our, our shared prison here together. Do they return lost sub gear yet? I think they, I don't know. That's a great question. I haven't lost anything yet, but they look like more placeholders at the moment. So I would say at the moment, I don't think so, but that is their intention. All right, we're leaving. These elevators are broken. They're gone. They're shot. Kaput Dunzo. Back to the cutter. Oh, me, oh, my. Sadly. We are running into... You want your reclaimer back? Where'd it go? It's a pretty big ship to lose. Yeah, you know what? I'm done with the with the U.S. We're going back to Europe, baby. Gotta wait till Invictus launch week. You're gonna be buying the the uh, the reclaimer then. Well, early congrats. That is a money making titan right now. I really don't have any plans for any ships at the moment until Banu comes out with something else. I'm pretty much locked in. Although I do love the idea of nestling things into other things. So if I can get some more small ships, because I'm going to, every time I ride with the merchant man, inside the bottom of it, I'm just going to open it up, right? Drop down the, uh, the little moving cargo elevator, right? And then inside of it, here we go, drop it down. Here we go, drop it down. And then inside of it, in the entrance that it creates, I'm going to shoot in my ships. C8R throw in all my my dragonflies well they can go on the cargo grid itself but the the fury mk2 mr oh i see yep 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 well another great choice oh and we're back here we go xeno threat ambush support needed ha you can't entice me with overdrive i'm hunting copion here we go we'll de gundam ourselves all I need is for one of those guns to clip on the side of one of these trains and or elevators and it's all over. I'm going to call just one. We'll see what happens. Elevator's called. Your location is five. The floor is two. My last floor was four. I'm going to give it plenty of time. Plenty of time. I think I just have to be patient. I'm just gonna call one as well, because I don't think... Oh, no, they, they call both of them. So it doesn't really make too much of a difference. I wonder if multiple people calling it is sending it to different floors or, or what. Here's the other option, right? We just do one of these and just get naked, right? Always a great option. Look at us. Damn, we're devilishly handsome. That's one farmer's tan, though. My God. Hey. Let's see if we can do this. Come on. Backspace. Creative solutions. Thank God for backspace. Get us through some harrowing stuff. Come on. Respawn. Here's to hoping. Gonna be a bit of a long respawn, I think. You know what time it is. Hanging out back in the cutter. I gotta get some like board games going on up here so we can we can just play while while Star Citizen's doing something. Oh, there we go. We're back. Alright, thank God we were able to escape that prison. Always a uh, always a way to get around any of Star Citizen's features. There's uh, there's always a couple of handy solutions. Sometimes you gotta respawn. 
Let's see, I should be able to recover all of my gear. Look at that. Look at that. There it is. There it is. Tackleberry with the $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Tackleberry. Welcome on in. We're gonna go, we're gonna take that $5. We're gonna go fill up right now at the station. We're gonna get all the snacks we need because that reminds me we need snacks. So thank you, Tackleberry. It's time to get some snacks. It's gonna be a long ride out there. And if we are starving to death after all of this, if that's what ends up happening to us, that would be a fate worse than anything. We got a double dog in. You got double dogs here? What, you don't even have snacks. What is happening? What is the service in this what? place? How terrible. You know what? That's okay. I'm not gonna let it phase us. We can call the one, the only, the snack machine. I got my own snacks. I don't need your snacks. Should we take the Pisces? I feel like we should take the Pisces. Yeah, we already we already lost the Carrick. The Carrick is gone. You know what? I'm gonna take the Redeemer to start with because I want snacks. And the Redeemer is the snack shack. The Redeemer's got what you need. So let's go ahead and grab the Redeemer. We'll fill up on snacks. And then I think... I think we should try and take the C8 Pisces. Redeemer. Yeah, let's go ahead. We could bring the Redeemer itself too, but... Inger 8. We're just going to use it for snacks. It's just our mobile snack shack. The Sakura Work Center Distribution Center in Hurston is massive uh what's the inside of it i've seen a couple of the distribution centers here on microtech and they're huge got landing pads and everything is there any like meaningful gameplay they've already introduced or is it mostly just like a point of interest thing either way i'll definitely have to check it out i appreciate the recommendation let's go ahead first though and uh, and get some snacks here we go snack shack oh you can always count on the snack shack Oh no, they got rid of the buttons here for the snack shack. Oh my God. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh man, I thought we were in trouble there for a little bit. So if you ever want to interact with this menu, you hold F, uh, you, you hold F. You look over the item and then if you hold F, you'll pull up this menu here. Um, but you can also right click and it does the same thing. So if you just hold F, it'll pull the menu up. I think that's the easier way to do it. We're gonna get all these things. Damn that shadow. Yeah. There we go. Probably have the features of the mission soon. I see, yep, okay. So slowly making their way through. All right, looks like we can't even grab the rest of those. That's fine, we got our berry smoothies. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, are we stuck again? There we go. Just very, very slow inputs on pretty much everything. That's okay, we'll wait for it to open up. All right, let's try it again. Oh, no. Let's try and just get out. Yee-hoo! There we are. Wonderbar. And there we go. All right, let's get the flipping heck out of here. All right, kind of scared because their goal is to release 323 by the end of April. If you don't get the missions in the hangars by the end of the next week, we're cooked. Yep, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna see hangars. But if we do, I will be extremely excited and very happy. Yeah, I think we're gonna I think our best bet, honestly, is is to try and scoop up these Copion in a uh, in a C8 Pisces. I think that's that's going to be our best bet. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll whip out the Pisces. We'll see what we can do. Vehicles, your vehicle has been Anger four. Let's rock and roll. Welcome but hang on a second. Do I do I have access to my um my same I don't remember if they share the same inventory anymore. Let's see, because I'm going to throw a new a new paint skin on it. But I don't know if we've got... Come on. Come on. Let me choose my ship. All right, let's go back. Let's try it again. Maybe I made it unhappy. Let me customize. 
don't know what accent that was. All right, we're not gonna customize the ship. It's fine. I wanted just to throw a cool paint skin on it, but it's fine. Come on, fleet manager, let me get my ship. Man, performance be rough. Spine is getting 65 frames. What's that server FPS? Six? It's not terrible. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval systems. There we go. Let's see if we can pull it out. Hangar four. Location. Back to hangar four. All right. Let's get. Let's get gone. There we are. All right. Slowly but surely, we're making our way back. There we go. The Butte, the C8 Pisces. What an adorable little ship. Oh, does this one do the same? No, you gotta, you gotta hold and press it. The C8 Pisces hasn't gotten the same special treatment. I did push it though. Yeah, just a, a ton of delays. Not as many stutters though, which, you know, is an improvement. Yeah, I think this is gonna be how we capture them. And we just scoop them up into here. C8 Pisces, what a cool ship. Underappreciated. Here we go. Need to re-add the C8R to your fleet. You melted it and a few others to get the Hornet MK2. It's a great ship. Congrats on the uh, on the MK2 though. The Mark II. All right, let's see. Aster's clearing. We're making our way on back. We're going around the uh, going around the equator here. There we go. Setting the route. Let's get ourselves all situated. Ooh, I don't know what was behind me there. I don't. I, I didn't like that. They putting another ship in here. Oh God. Well, I'm glad we got up and out of that. Oh, I don't know what's happening down there. I don't like it though. C8R has you choosing it over the base Pisces. Ooh, yep. Hard to say though, without those quad size ones. I agree. And off we go. Not too shabby. There we are. Nice quick quantum jump here. Let's see. Better than the Titan for the Skater. That's a a really hard question. I would say as if you had one ship, no, I would choose the Titan over the the C8R um, because the Titan's got much better hard points. Um, is just like a better platform, I think, as a multi-role starter because it's a little bit uh, better, it, you know, at combat fighting and you could probably leverage that for um, uh, bigger battle rental ships. Personally, I'd probably choose that, but it's tough. That's tough because the C8R, I think, has a lot of longevity in a fleet. The C8R, not this, this is the C8, but the C8R has a little snack shack on board. It's got, uh, it's got quite a lot. It's got, um, you know, the, you know, tier three medical bed. Um, and it's, uh, I think got a jumper seat. I think it's got the same weapons, so it's like those twin, probably size ones, if I'm not mistaken. But a little bit of some cargo you can probably put around, but not like a dedicated cargo grid. So if it was me, I'd probably, if I had to choose one, pick the C8R, but that's a tough. 100i and the C8R are your utility vehicles for quick tasks. Ooh, speaking of which, let's get our engines primed up here. There we are. And if you need to spawn something quickly as a uh, at a moon, yes, those can be spawned at the different uh, landing sites. Absolutely. That's a great use for them. A bigger task, use a dedicated vehicle. Yeah, I find them the, with the small ships like the Pisces, um, you know, they're almost like they have the utility of a ground vehicle because you can get them 
into so many different places that would be otherwise inaccessible. Um, you know, but with the ability to do, uh, you know, obviously quantum jumps makes them significantly more valuable. I really hope they also bring back where it lights up the planet because that was a really, really great feature, uh, you know, of pinging that is no longer an option, but I do hope they end up bringing it back. Let's go ahead and throw our landing gear on. Also a bit of some flighty, um, physics when you're landing in, in, in atmospheres. There we go. Let's try and get up a little bit here. It's almost like I don't have control of my ship. You have to really rely on shifting when you're flying around these days. Um, who is that running around on the ground there? I wonder what that is. All right, let's go ahead and see. I have my lights on, I think. Oh, gosh. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Well, that happened. Yeah, I don't know. It's like the it's like there's some like can have a great rest of your weekend. It was an absolute pleasure having you here. Uh, yeah, there's there's like something. I don't know. It's like ships don't like there, there's something broken with the flight mechanic for sure right now. It's like you it's it almost feels like as soon as you get into like low atmo under like a kilometer it's like you have almost no ability to steer when you're in coupled flight mode and the only way you can navigate is by being uncoupled um i've tested it out a couple of times but it, it's really weird i don't know if it's intentional but it, it's uh makes it really hard to fly around we'll try it again though we don't really need any of our weapons so that's not a problem good god Just want to get us these copions. Let's go ahead. We'll, we'll make a, 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 our our last hurrah. But I think we should. Uh, maybe we could pull out the CNR. We've been talking a lot about it. May as well. Might as well rock it and and see how we do. Should probably put something on though, right? You know what? Let's let's grab something. I love that my beard is just popping out underneath this. That's amazing. That's exactly how it would do it in real life too. So I love that it's I love that it's representative in that way. Incredible. All right, we're we're pulling out the C eight R, but you can see how much faster it is coming from a space station, like dying this way. And I'm gonna fly in decoupled. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's weird, but when you're in Atmo under one click, what button for auto land? You hold N. Um, once you're at a, a landing zone that has the capabilities, um, sometimes you have to go a little bit lower if it's not immediately like syncing up that it wants to auto land. But once you get low enough, it should take over your ship at that point. There we go. A little C8R. Beautiful. Responsive. Amazing. And we'll close up the back here if this one actually does. And it does work. Ooh, got the patient storage, the crew storage. A lot of stuff. And, of course, you've got snacks underneath. Forgot to ask, and uh, no pressure, but will we be able to make it to the Bar Citizen in Downers Grove? Uh, what date is it? I'll definitely depend on the schedule. But if I'm able to and I'm free, then I will absolutely be there. Uh, carry this, carry that. Let's see. Oh, we can get a few of these. All right, cool. Next week, the 20th. Oh, well, I will definitely have to check my schedule and see if I'm free. But if I am, then I'll be there. But if not, then if I'm busy, if, if, if I'm working rather, then I'll unfortunately be busy and not be able to. But fingers crossed I will. Oh, am I stuck in a crouch? Looks like I am. Oh, there we go. Finally freed. Downers Sand Club Bar and Grill. Sounds like an awesome venue. It was a great time. I love going to these bar citizens, so I really hope I'm not working. I'm not to, I'm not to check my calendar and see. But let's see. C8R. There we go. Rocking and rolling. Come on. Aster is clearing. We'll follow the equator once more here. At this point, I'm just going to be grateful if I see a Copion. All right. 
right, let's open it up and make our way on over. Uh, there we are. There we go. Hope to see you there. I hope to see you there. Oh, God. What is it with these, these, like, these Hercules, these, or these, uh, these spirits? I think it's totally destroyed, but that doesn't scare me any less. All right, let's try. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. By the time we get there, it'll be finally daylight, which I guess will be cool. But well, we're gonna try and just scoop them up in this, especially now that we lost all of our all of our fancy gear. Oh, don't kill me! Oh, thank God. It used to be that anytime you'd collide with an object like that in the past, you would just die. You'd explode into a million billion little pieces. But thankfully, I think they just make your ships invulnerable when you're doing these quantum jumps. I think that's how they've been able to just bypass it all. Maybe they deassociate your physics grid. I'm not too sure. But let's bring our space wambulance on in. Light those lights up. Oh, where'd I go? There we go. Where are we at? There we go. Oh, a lot, losing my AirPods. There we go. Oh, nope, down. The other way. Server error. You're killing me, Star Citizen. I want to get these Copion. Maybe next live stream we'll be able to we'll be able to get the Copions. I think these servers are just too unstable right now. Just came in with the most recent patch, so we'll save. I'm glad we took time to appreciate those cinematic moments, though, when we did, because I think the journey really is the enjoyment at Star Citizen, because you may never get to your destination, so you better dang well enjoy those breathtaking moments, because that may be all you do when you get on and jump into your play session. Well, you can still see some things are active, so you can actually use... Um, I think your chat for the Moby Glass, if it's actively up. Damon Omnimbus in Tenebris. You're not the only one having trouble. That's true. The whole server is going through the same and everyone else trying to play the EPTU right now. But I have seen this work. It does take a couple of minutes. Let's go ahead and we'll pop back on over to the, uh, to the cutter while we await the server recovery. And then just see if we can just book it on into Aster's Clearing. To see if we can even just see the mysterious, magical, and marvelous Copions. And maybe we can even still get them into the ship. That would be the goal. We're still waiting for the server. We'll see how it does. But overall, very excited for 323. What is everyone looking forward to for Invictus? The Zeus line would be really cool. I bet you will probably see them released at Invictus. It's going to be a huge sale for them. Um, I think they're they're really uh, they did a good job with the ships. They've done a great job with all the recent ones. Um, I think you're, you're, we're probably going to get those. Uh, and then of course we've got Alien Week coming right on up after that. I really I hope we get to see some kind of uh, cool new alien ship. Um, I feel like we'll probably get like an alien ground vehicle because we don't have any of those. So I hope we do that as well because I got some tokens that I don't really want to buy for big ships, but I would definitely uh, for some some smaller stuff. I'm all into the to the nice small things, the compact purchases that I can I can nest inside my uh, inside my larger carriers because you're only ever going to be flying one ship, so you may as well have all of your your proverbial ducks in a row with that. Get everything all together. No luck here though. We're still waiting on the recovery. Sadly, it's uh, looking like one of the one of the longer 30k recoveries. An alien ground vehicle would be so cool. I can't wait. Oh, I really hope we get one of them. 
I know we will at some point. It just seems like an awesome way to market, you know, uh, you know, fun new, new thing for them to sell. All right, we'll see. Maybe this will go through. My PC is like cooking so hot, it's trying to beat the server itself. It's like, don't worry, I got this. Hey, there we go. Look at that. We're actually in. Somehow, we made it through. We survived for another day. Let's go ahead and we'll just, we gotta just book it as fast and as far as we can. Let's go, 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 go. We're just gonna try and get on site. That's our main goal. Get in there any way possible. There we go. We'll put on our, our ambulance lights. I don't even know if they're on. I can't see them. And we're going to decouple because for whatever reason, decouple just seems to be the only way you can fly in planets now. I, I don't think it's intentional, but it's just something I've noticed that like, it's just like everything else seems like, I don't know, less responsive. Like it, it decelerates faster and decoupled and I don't know. It's just, uh, feels better. So we'll see. We're going to boost on in here, see if we can't make up some lost ground. Definitely delays too. So we're going to have to be nice and smooth as we come on in here. And I can't seem to change any of this. There we go. Finally got something cooking. Any more top five best videos planned? Those are great. Well, I'm glad he liked them. Um, yeah, uh, nothing at the moment in sight. Um, but I have like a bunch that I'm, I'm, uh, you know, um, got on the back burner. Some of it too. I want to. Uh, oh, it's the same thing every time. Can I get up high enough here? I think it's also just so hard to come on into these planets without being able to see anything. And obviously, right now my frame rate is. Zero, 30k again. I don't know what's happening. Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Hey, looks like we made it out somewhere. I have no idea where I am or where I'm looking or, or anything else. And I unfortunately now, for some reason, can't go into... I can't go into my uh, third person. I don't know if my... Oh my god, my ship is like, it's got like no controls. It's so weird. It could be desync. I'm like trying to just, all I'm trying to do is just break right now and it's just not... You can see my boost is going crazy. It's like, it's not decelerating at all, which is super annoying. I can't like actually come in here and land or like do anything. This is super weird. Okay, well now I'm upside down. Um. Well, let's just. Sure. My Pisces is gonna need its own rescue. Goodness gracious. Let me just try and just like I'm just gonna leave the ship. It seems more more danger than it's worth. Two clicks out is pretty far. I wish there was a way that I could like. I don't know what's happening. I think it might. I don't know. I think it might be. I'm still so far out. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, make the rendezvous from here because it's gonna take me forever. All right, let's see. All right, at least I gained my third-person camera back. Let's see if I can finagle this. At least get me out of this. This jam here. Goodness. I'm, like, sliding forward, and I don't know why. I'm, like, trying to go backwards. It's like when you go into atmospheres, like, there's, like, this weird, like, force that, like, pulls your ships. Yeah, it's like my ship is completely almost unsteerable right now. 
And I don't think it's the damage that it's had. Oh my god, this is a painful experience. Alright, we'll get rid of the landing gear. Oh my god. I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at here. Um Okay, let's go sideways. Nope. Nope. The other sideways. Okay. Alright. I'll use my three hands over here to all work with me. Hey, we're free. Maybe, 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 maybe. We're just scanning, we're scanning. We're trying to find some copions. They should populate. Uh, let's see. They like settlements. Oh, maybe we've got some over here. I do dare say. All right, we've got some copions. Beautiful. Let's just make our way into the clearing. Space break, 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 space break. Oh my god. God, I'm just gonna force my my uh, my speed lower, cause something is just broken. Oh, even my speed forced this low. It's just not. Man, this is a rough, rough experience. I'm gonna try and just do everything in my power. Just force this to go as slow as possible. All right, we're approaching the Copians now. I think their nest is somewhere right around here. Oh, there they are. I got the landing gear now. That's a good call, though. Here we go. Oh, finally. All right, let's see if we can grab some. And I think we got to get rid of the landing gear. If we're going to scoop them up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I should probably close my exterior as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Nice and easy now. Oh, almost got that one. I think we've secured the first Copion. Beautiful. First Copion has been tamed. All right, let's go on over here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, oh, oh. Well, oh, unsuccessful on that one. Unsuccessful. Oh, wait, no. We got him. This one's walking right on in. Boom. Boom. Easy snag. Oh, no, no, no. Speak too soon. Speak too soon. We'll get this one nice nice and slow. This one's probably jumping up on me. Oh, gosh. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this uh, a little differently. Make a different approach. There we go. Change our, change our angle here a little bit more. Oh, yeah. That looks like a good one. Let's see if I just turn off my engines. Spin around. What I will face when I turn around here. Oh, can't turn off the engines. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey! There we go. Beautiful. Well, we got two of them. Let's go ahead and bring them back to a spaceport. That seems the most appropriate thing to do. Copion secured. Let's see if I can get out of here easier than I can get in. So far, so good. So far, so good. Copion still sound like they're secured. Let's not leave until we've got eyes on the prize. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. That looks good. Copion secured. Let's go ahead and drop him off at a space station. I think Port Tressler is a great one to go to. Let's go ahead and make our way over there to Port Tressler. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Comare. There we go. Port Tressler. Yeah. Yeah, it is obstructed, but I wonder if it'll try and figure out how to path me there. Oh, yes, it can go to Microtech. I'm not too worried about that. All right. Looks like I broke Atmo. Let's go see what I can do. There we go. Come on. OM6, that'll resync us. No problem. Look at his split. Let's do it. Right now, we should be able to do it. Routing still not available. How is it not available? Port Tressler. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It can do multiple routes. All right. Excellent. going to say, I didn't have a problem before, but new patch, new me. Who dis? I can't hear them anymore, but I think our little our little friends are just tuckered out from their long trip. Let's go take another peek. Oh no! We lost them! So it would appear that you maybe can't quantum with them? Or maybe it's because the C8R doesn't have the same grid. Hmm. You want to catch a cow and let it loose at a spaceport? There we go! But yeah, sadly, it would seem our efforts were unsuccessful. But we at least try, and I think that's what's important. So before we jump off for today's live stream, let's go ahead and experience one of the other amazing new additions. And that is the new EVA Tier 2. Let's see how it transitions. Boom, you just run jump out and Superman ooh that's cool even coming from the back there oh I like that coming in through the front nice and easy going out through the back Woo. But you can see how cool it looks and look at the detail there I mean, crazy stuff, right? Look at me going. There's no way it works this consistently. What game are you playing? There we go. I'm free! I'm free! Free falling! I don't actually know if I'm in atmosphere now. I'm probably not. Oh, I, I think I've lost the planet. Wasn't the planet in front of me? How do you lose a planet? Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. But if you're not having a great experience, check out my best settings guide. It definitely lets me uh, play with a lot less crashes than normal, but... I mean, look at that. You can't beat that view. Woo! That's getting a little, that's getting a little too crazy here. But it is cool. You can do some. You can do some wild stuff with the new EVA. I like how you turn around too. What's up? Rolling. Beautiful. And that's 323. We tamed some Copion. We weren't able to successfully bring them back to a zoo, but I would still say that they're successful overall. I'm really happy with all the improvements that 323 has. Yeah, it's buggy. Yeah, it's got all the 
the usual problems you know that you'd expect in an EPTU but it's looking like it's gonna be a beast of a patch and I think it's gonna be really great when we get 323.1 that's when things will be pretty amazing and probably also around the same time we're gonna get a free fly so you know it's probably gonna be uh, uh, quite a mess even after that release but once the free fly is over in 323.1 I think things are going to be pretty amazing. But if you didn't check out my video already, and if you want to jump in and get yourself a Copion, why don't you go ahead and check out that most recent video that I just dropped. It's a nice how-to guide. Gets you everything. Two minutes. Easy peasy. You can get yourself a nice little space canid cat monster. Uh, you know, they're really cute once you get to know them just a little bit. Uh, but if you want to jump on in and check out some more of my content, I release videos here on YouTube every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And on Saturdays, I live stream or Fridays or Thursdays. It depends. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you want to jump in and join my org, Vichimus, in the description down below. It's an awesome, inclusive community with both old backers and new players alike. We'd love to have you. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for jumping on in and joining. Really appreciate everyone's support. And uh, yeah, hope you all get a chance to enjoy 3.23. It's fun. Uh, it's buggy. So prepare yourself. And again, Tackleberry, thank you so much for that $5 super chat. That was very thoughtful and very generous. And I appreciate it. And uh, without further ado, I can't wait to see all of you out there in the verse.